what's going on youtube we are back with another video let's get it so in this video we are going to be doing a low taper a one with the grain i'm combing my client's hair just so it gets i can see the hair pattern and everything i suggest that you guys always comb the client's hair before you cut it so we're doing a one with the grain i'm using my andis masters to take it down i have it open so just follow the hair pattern as you go that's why it's good to comb out the hair before you cut down the hair so that way you can see the hair pattern and everything so you just kind of give it nice clean strokes no ditty <laughs> but nice clean strokes follow the hair pattern make sure you do it slow try not to miss any hairs it'll and then eventually it'll just all lay down perfectly If you guys are wondering why I'm doing this, he has a calic in the front, so it kind of goes backwards. So I am doing it still with the grain, but his calic, you know, in the front just kind of goes that way. So I'm not going against the grain up top. Got, that's what you guys are thinking. He just has a calic up there. So for the back taper, we are going to be using our trimmers. I'm using my uh, what are these? The I don't know, Stylecraft, Stylecraft uh, Sabers, Stylecraft Sabers to make my bald line. Make sure that the bald line is straight. I'm kind of going underneath the ear because uh, I kind of do uh, high tapers in the back or like mid tapers. I don't really like going low. I just feel like in my like my opinion, like low tapers in the back is just they don't last long. So I like kind of go low to mid or mid to high in anything, you know. So make sure that it is all straight cleaned up and then we're going to come back with the butters. So I kind of realized I didn't use butters on uh, his head in the back because he gets bumps, he gets razor bumps, so I didn't do it. So we're using our Andis Masters. We have the lever all the way open. Again, I said in my last video that um, it doesn't matter what clipper you use and make sure that the... Um, the lever is open. I like using this one because it takes out the ball line. Um, any other clipper would do just fine. So don't don't get it twisted or thinking that I'm using something special. Nah, nah, nah. It's still the same type of clipper that you guys have. I just have it the way I like it. So since now that we made the first guy line with the lever open, we are going to be taking it out with the lever close. So I'm just picking at it. I'm using my corners. I'm not really making a hard line. I close it, then go halfway and open. I use my corners a lot. Again, corners is very, very important when it comes to fading. So that way you have a little bit more uh, precision to you know take out any dark spots. Always go against the grain sideways. You know, whatever hair grows, you go in the opposite direction. I don't know if you guys need to be told that, but you know, some people, you know, when they're learning, you know, when they're first starting. They don't really know so they always go cross grain sometimes it doesn't cut the hair all evenly and it sometimes they have any dark spots so with that being said we are going to use our one guard to make another guy line so i'm using my um, wall magic clips to make the second guy line with the number one guard so i'm doing a fingers width as you can see it's the same size as you know my finger i have pretty small fingers but same width as my finger so just make sure that when you, whenever you get to the top where you want to stop at, you flick out. You don't really want to make another hard line. Don't dig into it. When you get to that spot that you want to stop, just flick out. So that way it'll be easier to take out that line next time you try to blend up into it. You guys following? Great. So now we are going to be using our one and a half to take out that line that we made with the number one. Again, like I said, see how it's easily taking it out because i didn't really make a hard line with my number one so we're just um we're blending into the number one on top that we did with the grain so basically after we're done with this one and a half we don't have to go any higher or any you know more guards because a one and a half against the grain could blend into a one with the grain if you guys following if you guys are confused let me know so yeah again we're just going to be using the one and a half to take out that that line that we made and lighten it all up as you can see it is coming together right here 
and I'm just picking out any dark spots I see. I'm using the corners again. See, I'm using the corners to take out those dark spots. Again, if you guys have any questions, let me know. So on to take out this last line. We're gonna be using our zero guard, have the lever all the way open. I'm gonna be using the corners again. I'm just picking out any dark spots that I see. Just pick away. You don't really have to like dig in. Again, you don't have to dig in yet because it's, I've made crucial mistakes of digging in and I'm like, man, I brought the fade or the taper higher and higher. And that's something that you don't wanna do because it, it's 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 a hassle to try to you know to fix it or to try to just keep stretching the blend i don't like doing that so i learned just by using the corners you will not make like a mistake by bringing the fade or the taper higher and higher because you're just picking out one part of the head you can see that it is coming together now that i'm using my zero guard to take out that that last line use the corners always brush down especially with coarse hair because the hair always folds up because it is curly the guard is not going to catch the hair every single time so you always want to brush down like every three to four strokes again yeah see how it's coming together it's pretty simple guys cutting hair is pretty simple it's just you just got to know how to attack the hair Now we are on to the side taper. It's the same steps as the back taper, balding out guideline. Yes. <laughs> um, I don't know why I use a different trimmer right here. I wasn't paying attention. I am using a different liner, but it doesn't really matter. It, it still does the same thing. It still makes your bald line. You see my big old hair right there creeping over the, <laughs> the camera. So we are gonna be using the balders on the side of the saber because he doesn't bump up on the side so i'm using the little mini the little mini boulders i, I forgot I, I forgot what they're called i got them a long time ago they do kind of justice when it's the you know the sides so we're going to make our lever all the way open making a i'm kind of arching it the guideline a little bit because i kind of don't i kind of want don't want it to go behind the ear so i'm just arching it just a tad using the corners and then now closing it up to take out that bald line Our corners again yeah his hair, his hair is actually not that hard it's just it, it kind of lays down kind of good so you know don't get discouraged if like oh man like your clients their hair lays down good not all clients lay down good i'm just trying to show you like the best techniques guys so we have our number one guard make another guideline we're just going to be following the same section as we did with the uh, open lever using the corners again make it about like a finger's width or probably like half a finger's width yeah about a finger's width still but yeah still about a finger's width and then in a minute we're gonna about i think we're gonna be going in with our number one and a half guard i i can't remember i recorded this a while ago i think it's a one and a half yeah one and a half to take out that that dark spot right above that yep one and a half yeah same steps as before guys corners it'll lighten it up yes you guys have any questions again let me know now that we did most of the blending we're gonna be using our zero guard again open it up take out that line use the corners and just pick out any dark spots that you see close it up just a tad halfway and then eventually close it all the way up and then pick out every spot that you see simple right guys you guys following i hope so man i'm doing this for y'all i hope hope you guys can learn off my videos just let me know too also have you guys learned from my videos like do you guys actually watch them and try these techniques that i do um if so man that's that's great man yeah, I'm, I'm glad to help and i'm very appreciative that you guys watch my videos 
So we're just doing the neck line up here. Just try not to um, press too hard in the neck because it is a sensitive area. I'm using my sharp, sharp liners right here to, to line them up. He does have sensitive skin, guys. Um, I, I think you guys are going to see at the end of the video that he kind of got red around the, the hook area. Um, no matter what clipper I use, he, he always gets red. So it's like, you really got to be kind of gentle with some clients. Look how sharp that looks. These are my hitters, man. I, I love these clippers. I love these liners. Not clippers, liners. They are... Uh, one of my favorite liners. I know I've been using the high vis, the wall high vis for a minute, but them, yeah, these ones right here, they nice. So we're gonna be doing the lineup right here. And um, I'm starting from the middle and then I'm, I'm working my way from the left to the right. Um, he does have that calic in the front right there, as you guys can see. So um, you gotta kind of work around it. Try not to like, it's gonna be light every single time. If somebody has a calic up there, just work around it ghost line it make sure that it connects to everything else and um yeah it, um it's really like when i first started cutting hair like doing like uh with calyx and everything lined up calyx i always used to push them back and yeah that was my mistake back in the day but i've learned that it just you gotta maneuver around it and just manipulate it As far as the C cups go, my client's not getting any enhancements. He doesn't really like the enhancements and he doesn't want to get pushed back. So we're going to keep it as natural as possible. Some people do push back the C cups to get it crispy. Um, I mean, I still do it sometimes, but he doesn't want to. He likes uh, his lineups a little bit more natural. So we're going to keep it natural. Not too dark, not too crispy, just natural. That's how he likes it. You gotta go how the client likes but for the c cups you know the hooks whatever you want to call them um just make sure that it's not like too too curved or not and not too angled like straight i kind of like angled it a little bit i start from the top and then i i connect it from the bottom um or sometimes i just start from the top and i just kind of use it like a, a pencil like the the edge of my my uh my blade i'm just using it as a pencil so we're just doing the detail work with uh, my high vis because they're not that sharp so i'm just cleaning up any hair that's hanging over i'm just taking it down so but yeah this video is about wrapped up hope you guys like comment subscribe thank you guys for watching my videos i hope you guys enjoyed these videos man my client he always laughs when i have the camera in his face so <laughs> i hope you guys enjoy don't forget to like comment subscribe i'm out